are just such a person who speaks from your inner soul to people. And, um, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about your mentoring, because I know that that is something that you are very passionate about when it comes to really helping mentor and guide women. And, and what, what better topic to talk about since this is National Women's Month? You know, we really should get a year, okay? I mean, <laughs> I think it was just the journey through women's council, really what it was, is that I thought in order to be a good leader that I needed to be like a man. You know, I needed to lead like a man and act like they do, talk like they do. And it wasn't until I got involved in organized real estate where the majority of of professionals are women that, and then getting into being in CAR and being at NAR and seeing other women at the table, it was like, oh, I uh, I can lead differently. I could, that was the first epiphany. And then the second epiphany was I could lead like me. Like I don't have to copy somebody else. I could be Eileen Oldroyd and lead like that. And so that was my journey into, I want to have this conversation with as many women as possible and say, you need to be you like unapologetically you and uh, get, if you don't, if you don't see somebody at the table that looks like you get there, I'll help you get there. Women's council will help you get there. And some great associations like CVAR will get you there. And then you need to start bringing other people up too. So we could have a, a lot of conversations, a lot of diversity, a robust organization where everyone feels like they're represented. So that's really where it started. And Marty, I'd like to ask you this question. You know, since you've been in the real estate industry for over 43 years, um, what advice can you give today's agents? Because it is different than when you started. Oh, yeah. I mean, completely different. And but and actually so much easier for them today to, you know, um, it's easier to to get a loan. It's uh, easier to you know find people. It's easier to um, reach a mass of people. So um, remember, and how you do your business is the most important thing. So what do they know about you? What does, what does the internet say about you? Okay, you've got to make sure that you have a presence there as well. And if you're not there, how are they going to find you? What is, you know, what, what system do you have? You've got to prospect some way, somehow. You know, I started prospecting, you know, door to door, sitting in open houses, face to face, because we didn't have all this, guys. You know what? You think what you're doing today is hard? Uh-uh, it's, it's easy. <laughs> you guys don't know what hard is. It's so much easier today. If you can't find your way through this market, you're doing something wrong because mm. it's definitely easier. What's the worst thing that could happen? You can text them, they don't respond. You can email, they don't respond. You can call them and they can hang up on you. Big deal, next. Okay. Oh, that's good. Come on, Marty, we're gonna have to say big deal. Hashtag big deal, next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> 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 <laughs>